Welcome back to another episode of Fail or Fire, the series where we tell you whether something's a fail fire or just plain mid. I'm your host, Fundarius, and I'm joined by my absolutely fire ass co hosts. Always awake shades, Iowa's resident Canadian, Dylan. And we are Cyber Skull Media. You're Canadian? Honorary. Uh, appointed by my great friend, Groovy Movie. He bestowed that title upon me, and I wear it proudly. I was going to say, man, I mean, the, the hat he's wearing, he's got to be Canadian, right? Plethora of Canadian goods. <laughs> I have Canadian friends. Shout out to my Canadian friend. You all know who you are. I hate American guys. But anyways, today we are going to take a blast from the past and we are going to cover Silverstein. They got a song out called Skin and Bones, not to be confused with the Foo Fighters album Skin and Bones, which I have those DVDs because that's a badass show that they put on. I was browsing the old YouTube and Silverstein pops up and I went, what? Dylan, did you know Silverstein dropped? A new song? Nope, I did not know that. Man, talk about like taking me back to high school, girl problems, listening to this song. You know what I'm saying? Right in the emo feels. We're bringing emo back in 2024. We're bringing pop punk back, all of that shit. It's time for a resurgence. New metal, we've revived new metal. Hey, Silverstein doesn't sound familiar to me at all, but I know Silver Chair. Much different. That's terrible. And I've listened to some of their catalog today and they've gotten a little bit heavier over the years than what I remember, but it's not like I've been constantly listening to them. I probably haven't listened to them, listened to them, minus them popping up occasionally since like high school. This is gonna be really interesting to see what a modern Silverstein track sounds like. You got any preconceived notions, hypotheses? I know their their first couple albums were were very heavy. Uh, Shane did a little bit of screaming. Great vocalist, but yeah, he was a little bit heavier in the early years, and then they kind of mellowed out a little bit. Kind of hit big with some of their tracks when they it toned it down a bit. I don't know what to get you know out of this or expect out of this. Uh, if they're gonna go heavy, go back to the roots. If they're gonna try to deliver something that'll get some airplay, who knows where they're at? Very mellow tone song. I think it's Mike Eater shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cut back to this as soon as we find out. <laughs> yeah, I think we found out. <laughs> Still I'm, here. I'm here for it. <laughs> We're four seconds in and we already hear. <laughs> Oh, I can already tell this is probably going to pass the headbanging vibe check by the time we're done with this. this. This goes back to the roots. Like I said, you know, old school, you know, the first two or three albums from them featured a lot of harsh vocals. And man, to see Shane go back to that a little different than his his harsher scream vocals early on. He's got a little bit of a higher register here. Uh, reminds me of one of my favorite hardcore vocalists, uh, James Hart from 18 Visions. So this is this is pretty sweet for me. Well, Shades, what do you think so far? Uh, you could have played this completely silent and just one look at the singer and I'd be like, yep, it's emo. <laughs> <laughs> he does have that look, yes. <laughs> He's got the hair. Say that everything is black and white. You're in the wrong or you do what's right, but nothing's fair. No one fucking cares. All I ever learned was tragedy. Ah, that's a somber note. Life is gonna leave you quicker than you know. I like it. I like it. That's that signature Silverstein sound that I'm I'm typically used to in my recesses of my nostalgic brain. I love it. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm down with the, the chorus. I say he's a great vocalist. Life is gonna leave you quicker than you know. Slip right through your hands when you think you've got the rope. I've seen it. We're all we're all we're all just skin. We're all just skin and bones. I mean, he's right. Before you know it, you blink, and it was high school. You blink. And now you're in your 30s with multiple kids, you know? 
It happens, except for Thundy. I was going to say some of us. I'm I'm a forever alone. Hello, darkness, smile. Shut your mic off, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> you have no riz, old man. <laughs> Beware the Ides of March. Just another sign. We made amends, but never said goodbye. And now you're gone. Everything is lost. All I ever learned is... Chorus. Do you know what the Ides of March are, Shades? Nope. Tis Shakespearean theater. It's the sister to the March of Dimes. I think they're related. <laughs> That's terrible. Gonna leave. Now, the video is very tastefully shot. I wouldn't say it's anything groundbreaking, but it's very well done. I have to at least say that. Great cinematographer. It's been a minute since you've done this to us, but I think you just blue balled a guitar solo. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Balls with Thundy. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it will shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you, that meant something if you were too small to understand why that is like midwest emo like you know oh yeah the, the spoken word although they are from canada yes so they are it's canadian midwest emo if that's a thing i mean letter kitty i was born this way strip Welcome back to another episode. <laughs> what is that? Two in one song? <laughs> Jeez. Double blue balls with Thundy. Let's go. He's way over his quota. You get a write up for this. I know it. Look, homie's mouth is like ready to, like, visually, <laughs> I can hear it scream. That's usually how we start an episode of Shades After Dark. Yeah. So as I surround myself with memories and as I reread this tattered book, I won't weep when I get to the end. I'll turn to the first page and read it again. <laughs> What's this? Well, let me tell you what. I know that was pretty damn dope. I think I'll start it off. I think that was fire. I think that was fire. It passed the head banging by check. It could have been harder, but it was, I think was right in the sweet spot for what I want to hear from them. I can't wait to hear the rest of this album. The last lyrics, those are the passages that made us who we are. Those are the episodes that made us who we are who we were, you know, you look back on all the shit that you've been through, all your memories, good and bad, and no matter how bad things got, they made you who you are today and you are stronger for it. You know what else is stronger for it? This review, once you hear Shades. Uh, I don't know. Ah, yeah, that worked. Oh, <laughs> I blew it out. <laughs> 
It was pretty fire. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of the mic eater stuff. There was some screamo stuff, but it wasn't super terrible for me. The chorus was definitely a better part for me, but all in all, it was pretty good. I would definitely listen to it again, and I would tell my friends, share this video. Aaron? It's fire for sure. This is what I love about Silverstein. Uh, this is what made me a fan uh, back on their debut album, uh, When Broken is Easily Fixed. Uh, Smashed Into Pieces is the song I was trying to remember earlier. The mix between the, the screams and his super clean vocals. Uh, Shane Told is a great vocalist. I'll, I'll plug his podcast as well. Uh, it's called Lead Singer Syndrome, and he interviews like a who's who of the greatest vocalists in like metal, hardcore, post-hardcore, rock. Um, it's a great podcast. So he, he knows how to be a front man. You know, he knows how to be that guy. He's done it for a long time. They've had an awesome career, kind of taking it back to the roots. Uh, I'm definitely stoked. I want to hear the rest of this album. I want to see what the mix is. I mean, they've had a pretty good career. They've stayed true to form mostly, but they're they're kind of mixing a lot of their elements throughout. Uh, and I hear a lot of it in that new song. So it's fire for sure. We will link that podcast in the description of this video as well, because we got to give you guys all the goods because we always link every video that we cover. And you should always 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 go run the views up on the original video if you haven't listened to it before coming here because they're the reason we're here baby they're the reason we're here but you're here because you want to hear what we have to say and if you really want to hear what we have to say you'll listen to the rest of our fail or fire playlist we have over 40 some videos now that you can listen to watch laugh your ass off to and while you're in the comments of this video let us know whether you think this was a fail fire or just plain mid like and subscribe the video because we have a whole lot more coming we are cyber school media this was failure fire and we will catch you in the next one see you later later <laughs>